Hello there kitties! I'm Curry, the vacuum chip witch, and today I've got a little something. It's the Korg uh, Volca Modular. Not really modular, but semi modular synthesizer. And I'm gonna do a teeny tiny mod on this thing. I'm gonna add uh, a MIDI input. And I've got some uh, circuitry already waiting for this. I did it uh, off the camera. So today I will be taking this thing apart and uh, drilling a hole and adding uh, the optocoupler for the MIDI input and I will test it on an old keyboard right over there <laughs> wonder how it's gonna work maybe it's gonna be a complete failure maybe not we'll see to the bench So I've got this Korg uh, Volca modular. Let's turn on the light. Watch your eyes. And let's take it apart. Don't turn it on. Take it apart. Where was that small Phillips screwdriver? Before taking it apart, I'm, I think I will remove uh, one of those batteries to prevent uh, accidental turn on with potentially catastrophic consequences you always have to be prepared for unforeseen consequences those screws uh, they stay it's only those um, recessed uh, the deeper ones that uh, have to go and the unit discombobulates into the bottom half can disconnect the battery there's also the speaker in the corner, but this one is hardwired. So I'm not really gonna do anything with it. But here's um, the MIDI module. Let me grab the schematic for this thing. Yeah, it's seen better days, just uh, from my engineering handbook, notebook. I found this uh, schematic on GitHub, but uh, we'll talk about it later, where I found the project. Anyway, uh, it's, uh, it's basically uh, a uh, optocoupler. Six uh, and uh, one thirty nine, and I did it uh, my way on a uh, piece of perf board. Filed the soldered connections down to make it flatter, and it's possible that I'm gonna fit this. Uh, 
And uh, this is where I need to make a connection. That's the that's the MIDI interface. Let me get a closer view on this. Going from uh, from the top, it's uh, it's ground. It's uh, three point three volts. Um, it's uh, MIDI transmission and uh, MIDI reception. We're gonna use the MIDI reception because I'm making a uh, one-directional interface. Uh, I'm not going for a bi-directional. And it's only a matter of fitting uh, those teeny tiny electronic parts. <laughs> Wonder if it's gonna fit uh, all over the speaker. I can't guarantee that. It ain't gonna work. It can work beside the speaker, but not uh, over the speaker. Fitting this thing can be a little bit problematic and I have to put a lot of thought uh, into where I can uh, fit the socket so that uh, it uh, still comes together nicely. I think I have a good solution. Uh, Putting the socket in the middle. Then I would have to drill the hole as close to the, the bottom of um, this enclosure as possible. I think I might also place the place the board right here. That would mean that uh, I would have to change the wires. Uh, I I installed the pretty short wires, but I can still change them to something longer, like uh, five centimeters longer. And uh, reach the MIDI part. So, one moment, please. Let me grab the wire. something pretty nice and I think that I'll just be using three conductors from this wire and uh, this is uh, perfectly enough Now it's just a matter of replacing the wire in the module. The module that I made myself.
running out of hands. Looks okay ish. And now test fit time. in pretty nicely almost too tight but still still good enough So it's time to connect this module. And do some initial testing.
It's hooked up. I wonder if it's gonna work. chicken dinner it's making sounds I'm not touching it it's making sounds <laughs> that wire that I need when I need it let's hook it up to the speaker above the bench Phone output of the synthesizer. MIDI control is definitely a thing on the synth. So now I have to think about attaching those parts. And that's where the glue on gun <laughs> comes into play. Before it heats up, uh, let me attach the three and a half uh, millimeter jack uh, to the enclosure. And because the space in this thing is tighter than Ethel Granger slices, I have to measure three times. Think three times, measure twice, cut once, cry no, cry not. So, I've got uh, 26 and a half millimeter from the edge uh, to the bottom. The diameter on this thing uh, it's eight and a half. So uh, four point twenty-five. I have to. I have to space the the whole uh, four point twenty-five uh, millimeters from the bottom, which would mean that uh, I have to space it. Uh, Hmm, 22.25 uh, from uh, the edge.
So I made a cut. Let's uh, let's check the diameter of the hole. It's six millimeters. And in order to be as precise as possible, I'll just uh, start with two and work up with um, larger drills. So here's the mark. And now the question is if I should uh, drill uh, on uh, or between uh, those uh, serrations in the enclosure. I think I will do it right between. And now that I've got this teeny tiny pilot home. I can use a step drill to work it up to 6 millimeters. See how easy this thing was. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. There's probably one uh, issue needs to deep bear it. And now I can attach it. Now I should have some hot glue on this. Quick and dirty. But that's some sometimes how you do it. And it gets shit done. I also attach the cable to the board to avoid uh, damaging the thing. Excess glue.
uh, looks like it's sticking out a little bit too far to the side. So let's wait uh, till the glue is cool again. Let's put it back together. Accidental power up. Let's have some fun with this thing. Speaker, go for lunch. Midi, go for lunch. There's, uh, there's one thing I don't really like about the, the socket. Hmm. Like it got skewed. And let's try um, getting something out of this. So this would be reverb. C. 
some uh, ADSR or something like that. This is the control voltage input. Synchronization inputs and outputs, uh, I've got no idea what it is for. I ain't gonna be the next Vince Clark, but I still have fun. So like we see here, the Korg Volca Modular, it's got the media input now, and I guess my customer is gonna be very happy with that. And I'm still gonna play something with this little thing before I get it back. Oh, and I almost forgot about uh, going through the project uh, of uh, MIDI control on uh, the Volca modular. I found something on GitHub and uh, used this as an inspiration, but uh, the original has a uh, DIN socket. It's way, way, way more popular with, uh, with synthesizers. I decided to use a uh, three and a half millimeter jack, but uh, fit uh, everything in uh, the enclosure. This uh, shows how to discombobulate the synthesizer. And uh, like I did, um, the, the projects offer connected the cables um, right here to the MIDI interface, but they um, also included the orange uh, transmission wire. It is possible that uh, one of the future versions of the project uh, will use a uh, bi-directional MIDI. I don't need that. I decided to um, use uh, single direction uh, so that uh, you can control the Volca modular with an external um, device, but uh, you can control nothing with Volca modular. And uh, they uh, made a not so elegant hole in the side of the device. With the board sticking out. This is definitely not the Caritac way. I wanted uh, everything uh, built into the device uh, so that uh, the uh, 3.5mm jack um, is uh, 
fully enclosed um, within the, um, the synthesizer. So, uh, so this is uh, how um, they propose to do. I did it a slightly different way. I'm pretty happy with uh, with the results. This loveliness deserves another episode because I fixed it and I've got uh, quite a few insights on uh, Soviet electronic engineering and uh, and uh, the design of um, the LPSR. So one of the next episodes will be on uh, on the PSR, the, the second part. So stay determined, carry on, and bye for now.